We've established a link to our first signal for Operation Dimension Dive. But, there seems to be some sort of anomaly at work. The anomaly may be due to the nature of how we're using the gate to travel to this location. And because of that, that means we are subject to any kind of instability the longer stay in the other dimensions. So, we're operating on broad time. Great. Well, it'd be a great chance to get souvenirs after we're done with the interviews with our first subject. Not a bad idea. Since the imprinting would help create a stable feedback loop in the case that we can head back to the other dimension. I see. Well, let's not keep our first subject, Jadori, waiting. Improbable to think they would be aware of our presence. Can it? Not Starva enters through the gate. The sheer sensation of being pulled apart and pulled together can make anyone go mad. But he has to brave onward to this new journey. The city park was tranquil. Nary a sound of the rhythmic hustle and bustle of the city could shake the foundation of this tranquility. However, that tranquility came to a loud, <coughs> screaming halt. As a starva fell from the sky and into the pond. After an embarrassing fall, a starva tries to dry himself off and continue his search for Jidori. Next time, we need to have a more pinpoint way of traveling. Agreed. I'll come up with the drone blueprints to better suit the occasion, especially for more hazardous environments to scout. Right. More importantly, Ostrava looks around the tranquil park. People are walking around peacefully and enjoying the bright sun above. Yet, he can't shake the feeling of being watched by someone. Or something. Don't know why. But it feels like we've been watched ever since we got here. That, or... I'm just getting delirious from not eating anything beforehand. As Ostarva drives off from his pond excursion, he asks Ace to look for a nearby cafe to rest at and eat something before meeting with the subject. The closest being Cafe Rarity. A trendy location that was nearby. The cafe was small, yet comfortable. The atmosphere was minimal, but also very inviting. It truly lives up to its name for what it was worth. As Ostarva walked in, a mysterious girl swoops around before the door closed behind him. She seemed to be in some sort of high school outfit, but most of it barely seemed to fit her. <sighs> Made it on time for my shift. The girl turned around, nosing Ostarva right behind her. She bowed and apologized for any trouble she possibly caused bolting into the cafe. Sorry, and welcome to Cafe Rarity. Would you like to take a seat? Uh, uh, yeah. Greatly taken back by her appearance, Ostarva was at a loss for words. He slowly took his seat, waiting for the girl to come back for his order. That was when he realized something. Ace, I think that's Chitori. Body profile matches up one to one. And she's very, very pretty. Detecting unusual brainwave patterns. I will try to pinpoint the source, along with finding a way to nullify it. Okay. Chidori was coming back with a clipboard and menu in hand, ready to take an order to a now stupefied of Starva. So, what can I get you for the day? Cake. Something nice and sweet. I see. A strawberry shortcake sounds good. Anything else? Hmm. Crunchy, crunchy. Salty and crunchy. And some pretzels to boot. Gotcha. Excuse me, ma'am. Chidori was caught off guard once the HUD suddenly closed on Ostarva's face to take over the conversation. I couldn't help but notice something strange about you. Oh? It seems there is some sort of peculiar force around you that is putting people into a stupor. 
practically a natural force at work. <laughs> I don't know how it happens. One moment, some I talk to is fine. Then, after a good while, they just go... Whoosh! Brain takes a vacation. I see. I'll be taking over for a while. We're here to interview as part of a survey operation back in our world. Uh, your world? You sure this isn't some Junibio act you're pulling? Negative. The technology you see is leagues beyond whatever modern tech you have. I am proof of this. But to avoid derailing the purpose of this meeting, we should get ready to have our interview here. Alrighty. Boss is pretty relaxed about what goes on around here. So I have plenty of time. <laughs>